time of man has ended. Prepare for the ultimate battle. The Unisols are taking over! Between the original Universal Soldier... They used to be one of them. ...and a new breed of fighting machines. Ah! Hand to hand. Dangerous. Head to head. You're right. The winner controls the future. You know you can't win. Jean-Claude Van Damme. This is not your lucky day. Universal Soldier, The Return. You know, kind of under, kind of basically took some of you know that basically worked in Van Damme being a little bit older into the plot that he's aging. You know, he's aging and they have he has like little Mister Fantastic streaks in his hair. I was like, shit, Van Damme is playing Mister Fantastic in this film. Definitely better than he looks better with the streaks in his hair than Ian Griffith, that's for sure. So basically. The rest of the film, it's just Van Damme is trying to stop Seth. And Seth basically is a computer that basically, through the help of some annoying ass fucking character named Squid with blue hair and shit. I hate this guy. Just fucking terrible. Um, Really, really annoying. His voice is just so fucking nerdy. Just just makes your ears bleed. I know you probably say, well, your voice isn't, too much, isn't that much better. Well, Brent Hinckley, if you've ever seen the film, you will know what I mean. Just really, really bad. Really annoying character. When he gets his neck cut by, uh, basically neck snapped by Michael J. White, I was like, yay, now he can just shut the fuck up. So, anyway, pretty annoying character. But anyway, he, t- he helps out Seth and basically inserts the brain of Seth into... The body that he saved of Michael J. White. So Michael J. White has this kind of unintentional hilarious moment where he's talking about this speech. Where he's talking about, oh man is obsolete and now I am not, you know, I always, I've always dreamed of being a man. But now, you know, you know, he's all like, when I was a machine, I yearned to be a man. Now, I'm better than both. The creator, created, has become. The creator, you know, it's crazy, you know, crazy speech. But he's more intimidating than Goldberg, that's for sure. So basically, Van Damme also has a daughter in this. You know, they explain that his wife died, but they don't really say how, which it kind of, it was kind of like iffy, but huh? But then basically, Van Damme, you know, they have that moment. He goes to the strip club to use the, use the computer so he could try to basically hack into Seth. And he's too late because Seth shows up. He goes to Squid's house. Squid gets killed. Seth shows up. Beats the shit out of Van Damme really easily. Then Van Damme gets in a moment where, you know, he's, you know, he has to, he decides if we got to go back to the complex and stop Seth. Because now he's still... He, but actually he goes to the hospital to see his daughter because Seth has kidnapped her. And Seth kidnapped her daughter, who I guess has a... Her, her head, she heard her head somewhere in the building, which I don't really remember seeing, but it's okay. You know, it's alright. It's nothing really that bad. It's more of a nitpick than a plot, you know, hole, than a plot hole. So then basically, you also have never really, I don't remember when this was, but this is a, this is a moment which is just really stupid. You know, basically stupid moments again with Goldberg. Every time he gets, you know, crushed or supposedly he says stuff like, I hate that guy. It's really nice trying to create some catchphrase that just sucks and doesn't work. There's one where he's trying to jump off a building into a garbage truck. And he's all like, Captain Devereux, minimal damage. Capture Devereux, no not Captain, Capture Devereux, minimal damage. Then he jumps, the truck drives away. And then he's like, oh, shit! Then it's just really stupid. Then Goldberg supposedly has a moment where he kicks some butt in the hospital, beating some ass of some orderlies, who I guess are probably WCW wrestlers, but I could, could have cared less. Then you get to the final, you know, you know, it just goes, breezes by at a super fast pace. Then you finally get to the final fight between Mike J. White and Van Damme, and it's pretty awesome. J. White's first got the advantage throwing him through glass windows and shit but then Van Damme finally gets upper hand he's clever he basically cuts some ho- he basically what he does is kick some ass you know just to jump kicks you know 
good choreography here but with Van, Michael J. White and Van Damme. And you have this moment where a lot of people don't like the film because of this, because they think it rips off T2, where he breaks the panel that, you know, causes the the CO2 to overload, you know, into this room, into this space, and Van Damme kicks his ass and Jai White's ass into it, and he freezes, and it's a good effect, and then he jump kicks, does a spin kick, and shatters it, and I was like, that's badass, and it was awesome, but a lot of people are always rips off T2. You know, I'm like, whatever, really? I mean, you're going to bash this film because, you know, it's a rip-off of T2. And, you know, it's like, well, then the same thing. The Demolition Man's a rip-off of T2. They're probably sort of the same person who wrote that review on IMDb is probably bashing Demolition Man because of that. I mean, if it was rip-off on T2, I admit it borrows some elements, but it's not a total copy. If it was a total copy of T2, um, he would, like, you know... Before he would grab a gun, and then he would say like "Sayonara, baby," you know, that'll be a total ripoff. But it's not. He doesn't. He just kick, jump, kicks it. Arnold didn't kick the T one thousand into pieces. No, did he? No. So it's not the same. It's different enough. So it's not a total ripoff, in my opinion. Okay. Once I'm a total ripoff, I could kind of lean more towards Alien 3's ending to be more of a total ripoff than Universal Soldier Return. So basically, you know, Van Damme that escapes from the compound. Looks like the bomb isn't. They set a bomb that I guess is malfunctioning, and then Van Damme just shoots a panel that has C4 on it, and the whole place blows up. And it's just a great big explosion. It's just a lot of. It's really cool. Great explosion. Big ass explosion at the end. And then it's happily ever after. Van Damme is the, the new reporter lady, and he's got his daughter back safe and sound, and then the movie's over, and we get that awesome song by Megadeth, Crush Him, and then. You know, you know that's the end of the movie, and it's just a solid film. I don't think it's that bad. It's a decent sequel. It's got its flaws. Yes, some of the plot I can't really. That's my phone. The battery's dead. It's more to me saying, "Charge me, please." I'll charge you later, phone. So basically, it's not that bad. I've seen much worse in Versus Soldier. It's not deserving of a three point six. Okay, it really isn't. Regeneration is. 10 times worse than this film in my opinion this film is at least entertaining it's at least exciting has an awesome fight at the end and you know it's just a lot of fun it's a fun sequel I mean I mean if I was going to rate out of 4 stars I'd probably end up giving 3 you know because I gave the first film 3.5 so it's like a little step down but not too far down I mean it's not too it's not sh- it's shitty enough of a sequel that I was going to give it like 2.5 I mean, it's it's solid enough that it, it deserves a three-star rating at least. So what I'm recommending, yeah, you know, turn your brain off, enjoy it for what it is. Nice to see Van Damme having fun. The end fight alone is worth, you know, watching the film just for that, in my opinion. But Goldberg sucks. The plot is kind of, eh. But, you know, other than that, it's, it's a pretty, it's a fun sequel, you know. So that I really don't think deserves... You know, I get a 3.6 and all the shit that it gets. It's just, it is what it is. You know, if you didn't like it for what it was, then you were expecting something that it wasn't. You know, if you if you see this film for what it is, a fun, fast-paced, sort of, you know, kind of maybe B-movie sequel, because at times it sort of reminded me of PM, PM Entertainment film. But if you can get past some of the corny moments, you know, it can be worth your while, in my opinion. So anyway, thanks for watching my review of Universal Soldier Return. And I will check you later. See ya.